It felt like a couple of years ago at Fenway when everything was going the Jays way, but no story is bigger than the fact that Davis Schneider put together the best opening series to a career in MLB history. The first player to have nine hits and two home runs in his first three games. He homers in his first at bat. I, I, the guy did no wrong and everything about him is just so damn lovable from him doing his first interview with Hazel wearing like the dad shoes, the air monarchs, the mustache. He's wearing a glove that he found in a lost and found at some camp he was coaching at. Like everything about him is remarkable. Everything about that first series was remarkable. Yeah, the, the vibes were just off the chart. I mean, I, we said there, there there's no way that one guy can just come up and make a difference well that's obviously completely inaccurate because <laughs> david schneider's addition to the team just injected so much life into the blue jays clubhouse like when he hit that first home run in the in in his first at bat over the green monster it was you look back at the at the at the replay when he comes into the into the bench and the way the other players and the team are reacting like everyone's so excited you know, usually you see teams do when when a player hits their first big league home run, they'll do like a silent treatment. Everyone just kind of stands around and pretends, you know, is all coy about it. It's funny. There was just no way like everybody was so jazzed up and it just set the tone for the entire weekend. It, it, it really felt like after Schneider hit that home run, not only were they going to win the Friday game, but they were going to kick the doors open the entire weekend. The vibes after that just absolutely shifted. And I mean, like like we said, there we we didn't think that one player could make a difference, but here we are. Like the 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 Jays badly needed some life injected into their lineup, and that's what Schneider brings. He he has a really good approach, doesn't swing at garbage, waits in his sweet spot, waits for his pitches, and it's really refreshing watching somebody with that kind of approach. When we're done recapping this series, we'll talk about I mean, I guess where Davis Schneider fits in going forward as we head into a big four gamer against the Cleveland Guardians uh, for the remainder of the week. Uh, yeah, that was just unbelievable. Nine for 13, two home runs, five RBIs. You mentioned it. I think this team just so desperately needed a positive story, especially coming into a series where it's like, okay, still no Bo Bichette, right? He's on the IL. You've lost Romano now. You've lost Richards. Like the negative stories we're just starting to pile up a little bit for this team. But you go out on the road, you get a rookie to come in and essentially be your best player for the series. And I, I think it probably just loosened everyone up to some extent. Yeah, you know who it actually reminds me of? And I mean, they're, they're probably different players in a lot of different ways. But I remember in the 2016 season, the Jays got off to a pretty slow start offensively. And it looked like the team was it just totally lost its groove from 2015 when they were so good. And the, the start was just bleh. But then it was the return of Devin Travis to the team's lineup that really mm -hmm. brought them to life. And I mean, not the exact same player, of course, but similar kind of energy, right? And I mean, sometimes that's just what it takes is just injecting one guy into your lineup that has a different approach, is a bit of a spark plug. And I mean, also to the credit of John Schneider, he saw Davis Schneider, no relation, which gets very yeah. confusing. Schneider saw Schneider doing well and was like, all right, for the third game, I'm going to move you up to the number three spot in the lineup, which is like, damn that's a that's a gutsy move like you know you you wouldn't yeah. have the we, we joke about charlie montoyo with the the spreadsheet making the decisions you probably wouldn't have a recently called up triple a guy batting third usually but given the way he went john schneider went with his gut instinct and it worked out like sometimes you got to lean into who's playing well and just put those guys up the lineup i love that you brought that up because again on this pod we love bringing up that it's so easy to shit on the manager and point out when a reliever does bad. It's like, why did the manager do that? Why did he pull a starting pitcher early? But when they make good reads, you got to tip your cap too. And that was a fantastic read throwing him up into the three spot. And the guy responds with a four hit game, four RBIs hits another dinger, <laughs> casual, casual stuff for uh, the guy. Brandon belt called babe Schneider in his pregame right. interview, which is a nickname I think can actually stick.